All right, folks. So I posted up recently uh, some pictures on Facebook of uh, some scale ratchet straps that I had made. Had a lot of people ask if I'd make them for them. Uh, the answer is no. I will not. I do not have the time to sit down and make them for everybody. Um, I am going to show you how to make them though in this video today. Sorry, it's kind of cold out here in the garage today. Uh, you'll probably see my breath. Apologize about that, but it's the best we can do. Had to turn the noisy heater off so that uh, you guys can hear what's going on. Let's get started. All right, folks, let's let's make some scale tie down straps. Here is what we've got. Uh, each each strap is going to need two of these hooks. I just made those out of uh, about some, I think it was 16 gauge wire. I just used a pair of pliers and bent them and cut them with a pair of side cutters uh, where I needed to. I'll need one of these for each ratchet strap. I'm using uh, 3 8 of an inch ribbon. This is not like the ribbon that you would wrap uh, presents with. This is more so the ribbon that uh, is for sewing projects. It came right out of the uh, local uh, craft and fabric store. So to make these, we'll take our ribbon here and we'll take a hook. I may have to go off camera to make this happen. All right, we'll place the ribbon through the hook just like that and when I'm ready to make these simply fold this over like so and secure that with super glue and about right there we'd run this piece through this bottom hole here just below my finger and do the same thing secure it back around itself with the super glue now to make the other end of our rail tie down strap we'll take this piece here and we're going to run it through weave it through these little pieces right here as you can see this one here is just a regular piece of styrene I'll take my black marker here And I'll go around and color this completely black before I put it on. I just think it looks a little better that way than um, how I made these was pretty simple. Took my magic marker pin here and I just kind of freehanded about a three millimeter border along the edge of my styrene. Then we laid our ribbon down there and got a decent measurement. And we just drew another three millimeter border around the outside of it there. To cut those out, I suppose you could do it one of either several ways. If you don't have the tool I'm about to use, you could probably take a drill bit and drill through each side there and then take your knife and cut between those to make the, these holes these slots inside of this plastic piece. Personally, I think that quarter inch uh, ribbon looks more true to scale. But uh, here's what I'm working with. This is my Dremel tool. Let's see if we can get it to focus here. That little cutoff tool on this Dremel is exactly 3 eighths of an inch uh, in diameter. So it makes a nice 3 8 inch uh, slot. So to do these, I just kind of eyeball that in there, run it down. And then once I did that, we'd have kind of a half round shape. So I'd have to come back on this side and just lightly touch it down again and make sure we're going all the way through with it. by going through this one. Hopefully that's uh, in focus. 
Uh, the way I have to have the camera set up to do this, I can't see the viewfinder. And back out the top. Alright folks, there you have it. It's that easy. That's how you make some scale tie-down straps for your 14 scale model trucks. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.